ಸೊ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮ ಭಾವ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮ ಭಾವ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಓಕೆ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಡೈಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮ ಭಾವ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಭಾವ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮ ಭಾವ ಆಲ್ ಒನ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಸೀನ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಒನ್ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮ ಭಾವ ಓಕೆ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಆಲ್ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂತರ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಬಾಹ್ಯ ಸಮಾಧಿ ವಿತ್ ಐಸ್ ಓಪನ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ಅಂತರ್ ಸಮಾಧಿ ದಿ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಾಹ್ಯ ಸಮಾಧಿ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ what is existence the tree exists sun exists moon exists the existence is appearing as everything i am also existence so as existence it is a immanent reality saguna brahma what kind of existence is akhanda existence is not broken existence cannot be broken so the infinite existence is what i am seeing the focus is on the infinite existence okay so then what will happen the understanding is akhanda ananta sanatana brahma shivoham 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 akhanda ananta sanatana brahma shivoham 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 so a lot of variety of objects are seen in the world okay the objects there is a variety but existence there is no variety like water appears as wave wave there is a variety but water itself has no what is akhanda like that existence the pure existence is appearing as manifest reality so that's called bahya samadhi that understanding has to go deeper in the karma yoga okay ha huh? yeah people don't start with nana first they start with karma yoga first normally so in your in, your, in our light astral foundation it has become ulta nana first and karma yoga next <laughs> otherwise karma yoga people start with karma yoga only the simplest of aspect of karma yoga normally people do what they do when somebody joins an ashram they will do ashram work taking care of the cow taking care of a uh, uh, uh the keti taking care of guru taking care of yadna all those things they do is karma yoga then they go and fetch go some bhiksha get some food so everything in the process ego gets purified shiksha wali like shiksha wali okay so people no, normally all the people start with karma yoga in light of subdivision we are very evolved people you come with nana first and then you do karma yoga <laughs> right so your qualification you have to complete <laughs> so now what happens in sarvatma bhava i'll give an example how do you have to understand sarvatma bhava so i and you are different because of body but i and you are same as men as man's body we are common i and you she is common as a human being so the more and more go to abstraction okay i and you she is common but dog is different from us that is a separation but dog is also a being then i you and dog are one and same that's a being so then the mountain is there mountain is different from the dog mountain is different from me the mountain exists the being means existence in the existence level i am mountain or one so this understanding is there it's called bahya samadhi the focus in the bahya samadhi is existence 
the focus of antar samadhi is consciousness guruji can you say that outside existence is easiness is everything is and amness amness so the outside what we call a tree is mountain is river is is called isness existence inner existence the consciousness is the consciousness is called amness i stand for consciousness i am for existence but both am and is are about existence am and is is about existence the am refers to consciousness refers to consciousness he is a refers to a, the existence objects of that am listen 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 carefully listen carefully am refers to i stands for consciousness am stands for existence okay so what you are saying when you say i am the i exist as consciousness i am stands for existence existence of consciousness i am consciousness right and the tree exists the existence is of the form of tree so am and isness they are same once you understand am points to consciousness is points to manifest reality form in your mind they are different in reality they are one The tree is sun is. The tree is sun is moon is he is. It is also pointing to consciousness in that person. He, she is. The isness refers to the existence of that person, the body, the plant. Because I am not when you when I speak of he is, I cannot see the consciousness. I can only see the form. The existence of form I am referring to as isness. Existence of consciousness, nobody can see. I only can see. That's why I am. So when I say she is, I am not about her consciousness. I am only seeing her form. That's why she is. The but form is nothing but manifestation of existence, pure existence. So you said isness appears as the form. Isness appears as form. The consciousness appears as. Amness appears as form. Amness appears as. No, no. Isness appears as form. Yeah. The consciousness appears as sakshi. I am yeah. sakshi. The sakshi it appears as sakshi appears as sakshi in you. Sat is existence. Sat is existence. Chit is consciousness. Chit is consciousness. So when you speak of I am, you are referring to the existence of consciousness in you, which is in the form of sakshi. Sat and chit are not different. Why? because you can never think you can never say i exist but i am not conscious you can never say i am conscious but i don't exist so they are one and the same but in the outside world it appears to be different to us the outer world appears to be split multiple things she is different he is different but isness is same that isness is you okay so now the focus is higher and higher abstraction at higher and higher abstraction level all are one that oneness is called ishwara manifest form of lord it's called kiran uh, virat 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 manifested reality very much here and again is subtle level of reality subtle level subtle level thoughts feelings emotions like that ishwara in the domain of kiranagar only but underneath no no ishwara there are three levels of manifestation ishwara is a causal level kiranagar by subtle level and Virat is at gross level. In deep sleep, the world, causal world, you are seeing as Ishvara. In the waking state, the gross world, gross, gross object, gross sense organs, you are seeing here in Nagar Virat. Ishvara is manifested reality always in no, not not multiple, but manifested reality is always part Ishvara. No, no, that's your wrong understanding. Manifest reality. I mean, the names are same. All the sir Ishwar only. Okay. See, Ishwar is manifest. We are giving just for clarification purpose. Saying Ishwar manifest is called. We call it Virat. Virat is Ishwar only. Okay. So the names don't get confused with the names. So is the question answered? One in all. So the one in all is called Sarvatma Bhava. Understanding gives uplift to the uh, karma yoga. With this understanding, you do karma yoga. right 